hi guys it's Luigi here and in this video I want to talk about writing and machinima I know it's strange it's not one of my usual stuff but I didn't feel like creating a vlog so <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna overlay some footage of the me playing pool on my PlayStation 4 because I haven't been able to use it <clears throat> in every other way so I've been writing a machinima an animation short and unlike Big Bad Wolves or the Purge Blades um, it's not going to be a series and it's not going to be a skit <clears throat> like Twits and Crits FH Machinima Animated um, it's going to be a one shot story and I'm not going to explain it because I don't want any spoilers but <clears throat> I just want to say that writing is hard it's really really hard I understand how difficult it can be and people say oh it's just an easy job no it's not I've been agonizing over this script <coughs> for this particular project and I've done I don't know I went through at least five or different scripts uh, re rewrote it five times and I've stayed up at nights like from around <coughs> 12 a.m. to about 5 a.m. Writing version of the scripts because I wasn't too happy with it, and it's just a <clears throat> number of issues which I may go into. Um, so this script, <clears throat> I'm scared that you know, if you if if you write too many things, if you do too many rewrites, it scares me that it won't be of good quality you know that is a sign that uh, <clears throat> that a script <clears throat> let's use Star Trek as an example if a script if an episode of Star Trek is written like five or six times you realize there's something wrong with her don't you but the thing is that I want to be my script to be near perfect you know I want to be as best as it can be so when I make it machinima mach making the machinima is the easy part going to Skyrim and making machinima <clears throat> That's the easy bit. The hardest part is is writing the script and figuring out if you're doing comedy skits, which parts which parts of the audio is best to use. And there are problems with character development and setting development, which I add in later. I, I wrote the base of the story and then add those just to add like little flavoring. One tool that I use is to do a pre-write where I write a bunch of stuff about the main characters, their history, their motivations and then <clears throat> the most important is to map it, map the plot you know the conventional story structure is act one uh, you introduce a character, introduce a setting, introduce a problem act two you build up the problem maybe you have a hope spot and maybe the, the, the protagonist fails <clears throat> Act 3, confrontation with the problem or the antagonist, defeat of that problem or antagonist, or the problem is resolved in some way, the end do Newman. It's a basic free act structure that uh, was taught in ancient Greek and we all got taught in schools. And so the best bet, in my opinion, is to do map it out first. And it's been helpful, especially with this project. And so, yeah. And lately I've been thinking uh, there are problems with some of the um, the ending I'm not too happy with but most of it I think this script is about 90% I'm happy with um, it's just the thematic significance what I used to what I like to do is to write stories <coughs> machinima with an thematic significance and have a looping <coughs> So, for example, uh, the second episode of Big Bad Wolves, where Michael uh, tries to convince Tracy to kill this evil dude to feed the group, it starts off with introducing that problem and it ends with the resolution of the problem. This new script does not have that, which is a shame, which I might rewrite again, um, <clears throat> which, which may be the umpteenth time, you know? It's difficult. It really is difficult to being a writer sometimes. And you know, I've agonized and it's affected my health. I, I would just sat on my chair late at night and just thinking, just thinking, 
thinking, thinking, what can I do? What can I make this character? Should I create a new character to, to fulfill <coughs> a certain requirement of the plot? Should I change things up? And also because I am a creative person and one of the drawbacks of being a creative person is that your mind goes on and on and on and on. It doesn't stop. I keep on having coming up with different ways of doing things in the plot. Having characters doing different things, different ways of achieving what I want to achieve in the plot. The different ways of the antagonist um, to get what he deserves, right? Just different ways. It just keeps on coming up with different ideas. Sometimes I, I don't really... I wish I would have one idea and stick to it. <clears throat> and so it's insanely difficult and, and it does. it's made me a little sick. It's weakened my immune system, <laughs> believe it or not. <clears throat> and the other thing is I'm scared that, um, you know, if, if this is causing me so much anxious, why not stop it? Why not just cancel the script and write something completely new? And that's what, what my main rules, if I'm writing something and, um, and I'm not connecting with it, then it's probably my instinct tells me to rewrite it again and change it up. And that usually works, but with this script, I'm, I'm proud of it and, and I want it to be the best. Oh yeah, the, the, this script is, it went through a number of changes <coughs> of this project and it dealt with some heavy themes. Uh, themes that I had little or, or no business uh, writing about because I want to do it justice and you know um, I may not do it justice I, I'm a flawed writer I admit that I'm not perfect I'm good at certain things but I'm not good at others and you know the saying that um, write what you know I disagree with that I believe you, you are allowed to write what you don't know but at least do some research and for this project I've done lots of research I went to Wikipedia I went to TV tropes looking at history looking at different stories not because I want to copy them but to see see how they did this what the structure was how they dealt with for example the antagonist defeat just trying to learn just to see what they did and hopefully it'll help me with the story so yeah Either I'm going to continue with this script and I'm going to rewrite it again because the thematic significance isn't exactly there. It's not coming to a loop. Or I might chuck it out and just start from all over again or... Or what? I don't know. But I do plan on making another machinima. It may not be soon. It may be for a while. But they're fun to make and... It's uh, something that I like to give to the internet as a free gift. That about covers it, I believe. I don't, I don't remember anything else I was meant to talk about. But this is just a short, little spew about um, <coughs> about writing, about the difficulties of writing a machinery. It's it's a lot different, and it's a lot difficult than you may think it is. So hopefully, you get some insight into the writing process. Maybe I'll talk a, more about this when I do the creators' commentary. <clears throat> Thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.